Hello, my name is Zach Canster, and today I'll be talking about the world of Scientology. All right, so uh, let's just start the interview, shall we? All right, um, I would just uh, like to welcome you to this interview and start off with one question. How did you become a Scientologist of sorts? Hi, Zach. That's your name, right? Well, anyways, um, how I became a Scientologist. Um, well, it started about, I would say, about three years ago. Three years ago or so. Um, I was kind of in a rut, if you know what I mean. A rut. One of those ruts that uh, wrench the rut, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, I was kind of in those ruts, trying to kill myself, you know. And then one day, my friend, um, my friend Sean came over. He said he found this, uh, so he found this new science fiction book of sorts. So I, was, I, I tried to check it out. I checked it out, and it, it was, it was awesome. That's, that's just the gist of it. It was, I, I really liked it. I really did. So, what do you think about these accusations of, um, what are they called? Being a fag. What do you think about these accusations? Could you enlighten me a little bit? Oh, yes, the accusations. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't like them one bit, and the ones that are accusing me of this will die by Xenu. Um, alright. Moving on. Um, could you at least explain some of the, the things in Scientology, please? And could you give us some, some quotes of sorts? Why, yes, Zach, Zach, the yak, 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 don't come back. I actually do have some quotes with me. Some nice quotes, some nice beliefs. I haven't memorized any because I'm a lazy bastard, but, um, I think I can help you out. All right. To explain some, some things. A person is an immortal spiritual being who possesses a mind and a body. Now, like we already didn't know this, but um, we had to write that in there anyways, because, yeah. Anyways, um, a person is basically good, you know? They're basically good, you know? But they become abraded by moments of pain and unconsciousness. Unconsciousness. Not consciousness. Unconsciousness. Anyways, the next one I really, I really like. Because it teaches you many, many things. Sia, sci um, this one's hard for me. This one's hard for us Scientologists. It's hard to say. Psychiatry and psychology are destructive and abusive practices. Meaning, don't go see a psychiatrist or a psychologist because they'll probably take you away from the religion and we can't brainwash you anymore. That's pretty much how it happens. I'm sorry about that last one. <laughs> I'm probably going to die in my sleep tonight, but uh, it's all good because I'll come back as a spiritual being. I'll keep living. I'll keep living, you know. Um, my next one is, um, it's good, you know. Scientology describes, this is my religion, Scientology, describes the physical body as a carbon oxygen machine of which the spirit is the engineer. Illnesses and injuries to the body are said to be relieved, said by me, to be relieved through the uses of assist. 
I don't know what assists are because I haven't read the whole Scientology uh, book for fags, but uh, or for dummies, my bad. But, um, yeah, it's good. You know, that pretty much just a gist. So you're saying Scientology is more believable than Christianity, is that what you're saying? Huh? Yes, I would have to, I would have to say that Scientology is a little bit more believable than Christianity. Let me read something for you. Scientology states that there is no absolute right or wrong, but that right and wrong are actually a gradient from right to wrong. Do you understand? Do you understand? An action must contain construction, which outweighs the destruction it contains, in order to be considered good. Good is any action which brings the greatest construction to the greatest number of dynamics while bringing the least con destruction. It's simple. An absolute wrongness would be the extinction of the universe and all energy and the source of energy. An absolute rightness would be the immortality of the individual himself, his children, his group, mankind, and the universe. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Do you understand? Do you understand what this is saying? This is... It's crazy, man! So, what can you tell us about these uh, different levels in Scientology? Ah, <sighs> yes. The levels. Um, there are may very, very many different levels I could describe, but this one just this one just sticks out. Among these advanced teachings, one episode revealed to those who reach OT level three. Now you can reach these levels with um cheats of sort. You can reach levels, and you could probably beat the game. But um, o OT level three. Is the story of Zenu, sometimes Zemu, some some people say that I don't like them. Introduced as a, he's introduced as an alien ruler of the Galactic Confederacy. According to the story, 75 million years ago, Zenu brought billions of people to Earth in spacecraft resembling Douglas DC-8 airlines, airliners. Stack them. He stacked these, um, people around volcanoes and blew them up with hydrogen bombs. Hydro- it, it, it says hydrogen bombs, yes. Their souls then clustered together, like this, clustered, and stuck to the bodies of the living, and continue to do this today. Hubbard, our creator of our religion, called these clustered spirits... Body Thetans. Now, Thetans, of course, means um, spiritual beings. In advanced level, Scientologists place considerable emphasis on isolating these alien souls and neutralizing their ill effects. Meaning, take hydrogen bombs, I'm sorry, take hydrogen bombs and blow the hell out of everyone. Alright, I think that does it for the interview. Could you at least show us around your room a little bit and we can get a taste of the Scientology life? I cannot see what my room looks like. It will blow your human mind. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today, folks. Fuck. That's all we have for you today. I'm uh, Zach Kantzner, and that was the world of Scientology. I hope you like it. I hope <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this music. Listen to this music. Listen to this music. Listen. Listen. Listen to this music. Listen to this music. Listen to this music. Christianity's for fags. Take the Xenu way. Look at me dance. Look at me dance. Look at my feet dance. Look at me dance. Look at me dance. Dance. 
dance, 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 dance. I'm watching myself on YouTube. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> dancing with myself. I'm dancing with myself. Dancing. Self. Hey, did you know 45% of people in the entire world like to touch their hair? And I'm one of them. This is a serious message now. Seriously. Stop drinking Starbucks. I'm saying this for your own safety. You know who I'm talking to. I'm. This is a shout out. It's a shout out. <laughs> yeah.